Welcome, everybody, to Brain World. Yesterday, I did an extremely big brain play and very intentionally got two of our people almost killed to summon a man in black to help us out. And that's definitely what I did. Don't listen to the comment section. We also tamed a whole bunch of animals, too. We also tamed uh, these tetragenic originators, which literally grow body parts. 120 days life for that, so it's going to take quite a while. But we can also excise implants, whatever that means. Um, I mean, when you excise something, you're removing it, right? So I'm assuming... We might be able to, I, I don't know, maybe it grows an arm that we can chop off and give to someone. We'll have to wait and see what that does. Now, you guys in the comment section yesterday pointed out that the spiders, the feralists, I discounted too quickly, they apparently make sim thread, which is incredible. Not only that, I was told that as a defensive creature, they're very, very powerful because their, their, their spider webs can stun enemies. So enough of these around a kill box will lock enemies down quite significantly. Um... Feralists may attack upon failed taming attempts. 10% chance. Oh, it's a big gamble. It's a big gamble, but the synth thread they'll give will actually be very good during the early game and only the early game. Um, so ideally, I want to get some of those down. Now, one thing I'm going to start today is immediately working on a stockpile, I think, just to kind of help keep things nice and organized. So we do something like that temporarily. Um, we also need to work on base defenses. So what I'm thinking is we'll run a big wall across here made of big, strong stone. We'll force the enemies to come through the insect caves. So if we block this over and force them to come all the way around through here, that will slow them down long enough that we can sort of position ourselves. Then we'll block off, I don't know, along here or something like that. We'll decide on that as it goes. But I'd like to get some uh, some stone cutting done before we commit to that tactic. Oh my god, okay. Jesus. I thought he'd accidentally opened up the ancient engine. It's just him turning a boomalope. All right. So we might also want to try and tactically wipe this out as well. Build a corridor, fill it with traps, something along those lines to see what they've got in there. There might be some crypto sleep caskets we can get a couple of early recruits in or something like that. Uh Oh. That's not very helpful. Um why was I taming an elephant? Oh, I was trying to tame a male one, wasn't I? Because we got a female one randomly self-tamed. Run, little Stevenson. Oh god, run. Oh god, run and shoot. Run and shoot. Run and shoot. All we gotta do is maim it a little bit, then we can get away fairly safely. Um Delta and Upset don't have ranged weapons. Oh god, Stevenson. Oh god, you may be in a bit of a problem here, friend. Always, always run. Never stop running. Uh, I, I, I'm not sending Delta and Upsa to try and save Stevenson's life. I'm not sure it's worth it. I just, just keep running. Just keep running, little Stevenson. All he's got to do is shoot it once more, and it, it should slow. Fuck. It should slow to the extent where, oh, God. It should slow to the extent where it won't be able to catch him or not. Where, where have you been shooting it? Uh, Tusk. How could, What? How does that cause damage? If you shoot in a tusk, does, is that how that works? Okay. Um, come on. Run, run, run. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, God. We might just get away because luckily the elephant's not particularly aggressive. It's not doing too much damage to him. I say that. He is bleeding out in four hours. His arm and his eye has been destroyed. Oh, fuck. Um, okay, okay. Delta and Upsa, let's get you indoors preemptively. Where's... Okay, Delta, you need to haul ass. Come on, Stevenson. Stevenson's probably just going to collapse from the fatigue if we're not careful. Maybe between the three of them, we can club it to death. Look, the elephant's almost dead as well. Eight hours left. Come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Get indoors. Hold that door. Hold the door. Oh, Stevenson's down. Okay, um, it's down to Delta and Upsa now to be able to kill an elephant without dying. Um, we could get the bows equipped and run and gun it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to have time for it, but I'm going to give it a go. I think this is the safest way to do it. Stevenson might be dead here. That would suck so much if we immediately lose one of our extra characters. Okay. Right, here we are. Draft up. Get into a position whereby we can run and gun around this elephant. Oh, he's attacking my... Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck off. Fuck off with that. Okay. Delta, where's your... Get your bow out. Go, go. Shoot that elephant. No, 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 no. Shoot the elephant, you fool. It's down. Okay. The tetra... Tetragenic originator or whatever the hell it's called dealt with it. Rescue Stevenson. Um, you go back about your business. God damn, that sucks. How's he doing? Three hours. We should be able to get him into a bed in 10 swim without it causing him to die. That is not a great start, is it? My god. Um, not a sign to doctoring. Upsa was the doctor. No one's the doctor. Um, oh, Stevenson's the doctor. Right, I remember now. Good luck, Delta. Uh, do we have any medicine? We have no medicine. Oh my god, losing an arm. From one failed... What are you doing? No, 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 no. Rest until healed. What Losing an arm from one failed tame attempt is pretty tragic. He's lost a thumb, an arm, and an eye. What's his manipulation going to be like at the end of all this? 
I mean, consciousness is, is, is kind of making that difficult to work out. I mean, it's, it's easily less than half, but missing the thumb as well is going to be a real pain in the ass. Wow. Poor Stevenson. You, you joined the wrong colony, my friend. And now we show a great kindness of our people. We rescue the elephant, and we tend to the elephant that almost killed him. This is the nicest thing I've ever done in any RimWorld playthrough. Normally, I would be pure vengeance, but you know what? We can save this elephant. We can't save this elephant. I've lied to you. This is now dinner. Well... Looks like it's back on the menu, boys. That one's actually not too bad. If if we were gonna if we were gonna end up bringing anything to the front door to eat, an elephant seems a pretty big uh, seems a pretty big bit through there. Can I go no path? What have you? Oh, you moron. Okay. Um, I, I will admit building here is not ideal because it's very swamp ridden. Um, but it's not. I mean, it's okay. I mean, obviously there's a lot of fertile soil as we talked about yesterday. Right, butcher creature do forever. Um, no animal corpses sorry no insect corpses obviously animal corpses we'll do it within like a we could we could have them haul them to the base first because obviously when you hunt you'll do that anyway that way if there's a butchering job available we won't run to the other side of the map to try and do it let's get that done all right there we go thank you mr elephant much appreciated well that's a lot of meals next step let's put down a simple research bench and let's also put down a chair as well since we've got a ridiculous amount of wood right now um Along with a, a wall light, I guess, we do have a, just enough power to probably be able to run that or not because the wind turbine is garbage. That's the reason I actually want to put this down is so that we can work on batteries. Oh, uh, yesterday there was also a comment that said something like rearrange the um, the research tree based on tech level, which I've which I've done. Um, so now that looks a lot neater to some extent. Uh, it, it kind of allows us to see what we've got to work with a bit better rather than it being absolutely everywhere. Um, right, okay, so we want to get batteries as soon as possible. No, why would you Why would you put it at the start? What a strange... All right, anyway, batteries, perfect, fine. We'll get, uh, I think we'll get Delta working on research as a top priority above everything else. Uh, besides crops, yeah, let's work on harvesting and growing the crops, but after that... It's just, it's just research all in. Let's take a look at this bulk goods trader as well. Let's see what you've got for us, friend. Um, gooses, turkeys, goats. Those things are worth a fortune. Even if we don't get anything good from them, we could just trade them for, trade them for items with a, with an orbital trader. Um, I don't really need a package survival meal. I think I would rather have the silver than just it being a crappy meal. Um, what have we got that we could trade with you guys? More, more importantly, what have you guys got that we want? I like the I like the bees. I think it's too early to get into bees yet. We're not quite that desperate. Although I guess the earlier we start working on them, the better it could be. That's a hard choice. I don't think it's necessary quite. I might buy your herbal medicine. I know it's not entirely necessary. We can get our own, but just having some emergency around wouldn't hurt. Um, you guys want to buy some components? We've got a ridiculous amount of those. There we are. Okay, components for medicine. I feel that's not a bad idea. Just in case, the reason I'm doing this as well, just in case Stevenson develops an infection over the next couple of days, means that we can immediately treat it without having to go out digging up herbal medicine first. Doctor request opportunity. Is it for us? Mel Me Mel Meliodas, High Stellarch of the Broken Empire, has sent us a message. Someone in a caravan is in urgent need of a doctor. All the rest of your goddamn empire will need a doctor by the time we're done with it, my friend. You're going to need... So many doctors. That's not much of a threat, is it? Um, also, there's three males just lying around. Oh, another bulk goods trader. I hope they hate one another and fight and die. Um, where are they? Hurry up. Run faster. It's an animal trader. These are wood elves, and these guys are dark elves, right? Maybe they hate one another. Maybe they will slay one another. Who have we got? No, they don't. Actually, everybody likes each other besides the savage tribes, who also, for whatever reason, the... Orcs don't hate... Sorry, the, the Bloomin' Corporation don't hate the Orcs. Is that where they went to peace with one another? No idea what that's about. Whoa! A villager named Oxana has arrived. She is willing to join the colony. Oh, shit. Well, hello. Um, Oxana has also turned up with her own gun and a combat handgun, which is fantastic. Pessimist, bisexual, lazy. Oh, just the person we want to join our colony. For fuck's sake. Oh, she's already... She's got wake up addiction as well. She does have a venom talent in her middle finger, whatever that is. I assume that poisons? Venom Talon. A retractable finger talon connects to a venom pump in the lower arm. The user can scratch any enemy while squirting venom into the wound. Designed to be installed. Oh, that's really, really cool. Very good at cooking. Oh my god, and she's got a passion in it as well. Okay, okay, that's great news. Because that means it's one less job for our two starting characters to have to worry about then. So you take over on that front. Oh, she's actually really, really filled a niche that we... Desperately kind of wanted filling any of these jobs that we've got a lot of overlap in so things like construction a dedicated builder again would help out quite a lot Someone good with plants good would help help out quite a lot um, That's fine though. Excellent. Good news. Okay, join us. We'll get you to deliver if you can't do anything else and then cleaning 
Hauling. That seems fine. Can I put as well? It looks as if she's wearing a lab coat. So if we give that to, uh, um, yeah, research speed plus 10%. So we could chuck that at uh, Delta and they could swap clothes. Uh, to be honest, we've also got that royal coat. I forget the royal coat of infinity. It is tainted, but it gives a lot of extra. Oh, no, that, that wasn't the one, was it? The infinity one. Um, that was just a random cloth royal robe. It is tainted, but hey, I mean, we could potentially get 10% bonus research speed. I think that's probably worth it. So what I'm going to do then is, oh, we've got tribal wrap. Okay, never mind then. You drop that on the floor. Uh, Delta, come and wear this one. And if there's any leftover clothes, we can... No, oh, there we go. We give it to someone else. Perfect. All right. Research table is up and running. This is going to be our stockpile, by the way. I'm going to move all the stuff out of the workroom. What is going to be a kitchen eventually, but we'll go ahead and move everything from here into here very quickly. Let's go ahead and remove that. We'll also put a door into there from... Um, I guess we could do it from this room and this room, right? No harm in that. I want to fill out these blocks as well. It does look hideous. I wouldn't normally do this if we weren't so desperate for wood on the first day. Another bold goods trader. Oh, it's the anime again. Um, right, we should probably trade with... That's too many. This is too many people. Um, well, let's get Delta to trade with the, uh, other elves now. And let's see what they've got. Um, so you guys are... Oh, you were the ones we already trade with. Sorry, my bad. Oh, or not? It's kind of hard to tell. They all seem to sell the same crap. Um, okay, hang on. Let me, let me try these guys again, if I can... There you are. Uh, no, we've definitely traded with this guy. They sell very, very similar stuff, then. They both sell geeses and... And drones? Really? I feel like I'm going crazy. I definitely traded with two different people there, didn't I? That's very weird. Um, wait for the androids to turn up. Those guys seem to have something a little bit more... More more geeses. No, something's broken here. This isn't right. Oh, man, I forgot we had the... Um, this is for, for furniture expanded, isn't it? Vanilla furniture expanded. Um, at least I think it is. Let's get down a cabinet then to buff it. It's like a 5% research speed bonus. It's very, very little. But it is better than... Not having it, especially given that her research skill is going to take quite a while before it becomes before it becomes anything any good. So let's also get this shit moved out of the what is essentially the living room right now. And Oksana needs a bedroom. Um, well, I guess we could just blueprint one of these and move it along another block. Why not? Um, so thank you, Stevenson. If I could just borrow that, we've already got most of the infrastructure in there. Honestly, why not? Let's let's get some more blocks down. The mining is taking a very very long time because all of our miners are absolute crap. But eventually, it'll be. Kind of to his collapse due to extreme exhaustion. What? Can you not leave? Oh, God. Well, I might have to go and hold that door open very quickly. Okay, anime. Let's see what you've got then. Kind of hoping they've got something a bit more impressive than a few geese and some bees. Sorry, Delta. Whenever you're ready to uh, wake up and uh, and trade with them, that'd be ideal. Thank you very much. We should probably move the other stuff to the stockpile first, but that's okay. Same thing again. It is actually identical again. I know they've got, I know they've got a few different things down here, but it's the same amount of drones. They've got more dried stuff. Maybe they always bring a set amount of shit. Um, do I have advanced components? Two of them as well. Damn. Uh, yeah. Okay. We could we could strike a deal here. Um, elephant leather? You guys interested in some elephant leather? What about some regular components for advanced components? Man, we need those. They're so good. We could sell one of the originators. Keep our components. Um, might not hurt. 690. Uh, sorry, give me those again. 30. Yikes. I'm, I'm gonna do it, I think. We could also buy... A bird skin mon monopsony. Um, a board game where players balance unions in the labor market in order to become the mon mon monopsonist. Uh, sheep will game of strife. Uh, <laughs> Mansion in the woods. Okay, fair enough. Um, we should probably buy some board games because these are all diff diff different types of uh, recreation types from what I recall. Um, oh, they're all cerebral? Oh, they are. Okay. Um, we don't really need that too desperately then. Never mind. What about the pallet? I guess we could probably put one of those for our own. All right, that's fine. Two advanced components, fantastic. Because that gives us everything we need to build ourselves the um, the machining table when that becomes relevant without having to go out fighting mechanoids or any of the usual stuff that you would have to do. So I've taken all of the rich soil here and decided to put some cotton plants on top of it to try and get a load of cotton as quickly as possible, ideally. Because eventually we are going to get those ridiculous carpets again that give the crazy beauty bonuses. So I want to start stockpiling... As much cotton as we can as, as soon as possible. We have got the doormats mod as well. So getting as much cloth as we possibly can in the early game is going to help out dealing with cleaning and food poisoning related issues. Shit like that. Um, right, so let's go ahead and just take all of this soil. Like every every piece of rich soil around here that we can build on, I'm just going to do it. Why have we also got two random components on the floor there? There we are. I don't want to build it too large because it will take ages to sew it all. But that's, yeah, I think that's a, a fairly ridiculous amount of land there. Oh no, god damn. Stevenson, oh, 0.76 chance to tame those. That's not worth it. 
They've got a 10% chance to attack on failure. My man is going to get absolutely annihilated before he even so much as tames one of the fucking things. Right, goodbye. Not interested. Oh, two of them are angry. Oh, God. Stevenson sat near the Feralus, can talk to himself about vomiting. That's probably why they're very mad at you. Right, let's haul ass. Um, this is really bad. I think Stevenson might be dead here. Because those things do toxic buildup. Yeah, they do. I thought they did yesterday. We didn't actually get to see it. But this time, this time we can definitely see it. Oh, God, poor Stevenson. Might actually, genuinely might die here. Um, okay, let's let's line up, team. Uh, ranged weapons, if you've got them, would be preferable. Uh, I like that she's turned up with an actual gun this time. That's worked out pretty well. We've got another gun lying around somewhere. God knows where. Oh, there's a really, really cool mod that came out in the Steam Workshop uh, yesterday called, like, Combat Effects. I'm actually going to pull it up very quickly because it is a really, really cool mod that basically adds little animations to, to combat. Now, it's called Gunplay. This will affect your frame rate, but it adds some really, really cool little mechanics. Miniguns, spin-up, bullet tracers look correct. So, you can see there, as she pulls back the bow, they will... Uh, you can see it there. As they pull back the bow, it actually looks as if it's gaining tension. Arrows will actually fire from the end of the bow. Bullets will actually come out of the gun rather than from the middle of the colonist. I think it's such a cool little change. Now, granted, it will, in fact, uh, it will impact FPS, don't forget. But it is it's quite a cool little addition, I think. Right, okay. How are we looking, then? Bad. We, we looking bad. Uh, focus fire on that one. See if we can kill that one. Oh, fuck. Run, run, run. Delta, 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 Delta. Please run, please run, please run. Oh, fuck. Um... This is, this is some fucked up shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> melee weapons then? Oh, Jesus. Um, please kill it. All of you focus on one. No, 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 no. All focus on one of them. Take this one down first. Oh, uh, we might be screwed here. We might be... Really? Instantly killed? Wow. Oh, my God. Um, well, luckily, Delta and Upsa are absolutely fine. Oxana, easy come, easy go. Already dead. Unbelievable. Wow. So whoever in the comment section yesterday said, hey, you should tame some Feralisks. I'm going to find your comment. You are banned. You're not obviously banned. That would be, that'd be ridiculous. Um, but yeah, no, that's not, that's not good. That's, that's really not good. Um, let's go ahead and just kill those things dead. On the plus side, though, we got ourselves a gun and we got some good clothes out of it. So, Oxana, you were not a complete loss. Perfect. Okay, no, no, no. You need to drop the bow and equip that as a sidearm. No, equip it in the offhand. Oh, but if you if you dual wield, it lowers your accuracy, which is probably why she couldn't hit shit. Um, equip it as a sidearm then. Right, there we go. Goodbye. Now you need a... We need to build a bloody tomb already. What did she have? She also had some wake up there we could sell. Um, got some water there. Fantastic. Okay, Stevenson's up. Stevenson, can you get yourself some rest, my friend? Unreal. No more permanent damage, though, by the looks of it. I am self-tending here, which was a, a terrible idea. Um, right, okay, rescue Stevenson. God damn, please. Oh, God, you also need tending as well. Oh, my God, Delta's also going to die in six hours. Fuck. Um, resting, resting, resting. No, 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 no. Okay, doctor, 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 doctor. They're all terrible at doctoring. So, Delta tend to Delta. Ups tend to Stevenson. God, I hope this works, because this is very... Delta's also down. Oh, fuck. Um, five hours, five hours. We've got to choose. Okay, patch up Stevenson. How are you looking? Twelve hours. That's fine. We've bought, we've bought them time. Rescue Delta. Tend to Delta. Uh, have we got time to go get more medicine? We have. Wh whoever said tame Feralus, you knew what you were doing. That was a... That was a... That was a ploy. That was a ploy to destroy my mighty colony, but they cannot be destroyed. Not through, not through comment section. Right, okay, everyone's fine. Unbelievable. What are you happy about? Why did he smile then? When it's ally's death, minus five. Drowsy, uh, I don't know why. God knows. Oh, Jesus. Okay, get yourself a meal. This is bad. We need to stop taming things. We need to stop taming things that are going to kill us. Because this has been a horrible experience for poor Stevenson so far. Right, what are we still trying to tame? Boomalopes. That's safe. That's safe and that's fine. Um, Everything else, though. Fuck everything else. What a terrible idea. Let's get these bedrooms cleaned, actually, just to try and help out with any sort of infection risk. So our quest has turned up. The quest has become available. The Deserter, which was, of course, the the campaign route we were going with this time instead of royalty. Regave, a demolitionist, is calling to you from nearby. She has deserted the army of the Broken Empire. has been hunted by a loyalty squad. Uh, she knows the location of a key outpost. If we accept her, we'll become an enemy of the Empire. A pursuing loyalty squad will attack immediately, consisting of three troopers. Are we ready for this? 
Expires in 4.7 days. So let's get our guys healed up a bit first. Wait for Stevenson and Dow to get back on the feet. Go and find those weapons that we've dropped on the ground, wherever those are. See if we can fight them off. I have no idea what they're going to turn up with, whether they'll turn up with Cataphract Armor, whether they'll turn up with Bionics, Psychics, anything. Does the crown give defensive bonuses? Uh, covers head, left ear, right ear. We can wear it just to maybe deflect a bullet. I mean, it gives no armor at all, so I think it'd be a complete waste of time. I think we should just give up to something to help develop some of these, uh, 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 deflect some of these bullets. That does give a very, very tiny amount of armor. Go on then. Let's put it on. Let's accept this quest. And see whose life it is we're supposedly saving. Oh, give me a break. Give me a fucking break. Okay, everyone hide inside like the cowards we are. Until the spider fucks off. Because we can't... Or not. Please leave. Okay, we're fine. Are we good? Have you stopped being... A it's going to eat the rice. That's fine. It's, it's no longer hungry. I think we should probably get into the habit of shooting all feralisks on sight. Because it sounds like these things are going to be a massive pain in the ass for our colonists' lives in the future. So what I put down is a very, very, very basic embrasure here just to give us a tiny little bit of cover when we are fighting... When we're fighting the uh, the Empire in a second. I'm just waiting for Stevenson to stop being a bitch. I might let everyone ha get in a good mood as well. And then we'll call in... We'll call in the team. All right, I think that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. Let's get Delsa's gun re-equipped. And let's hope that one bow and arrow, a revolver, and... A small handgun will be enough to repel uh, the Empire. Let's hope that this deserter who turns up is mighty powerful. Who? <gasps> Who'd have thunk it? It's actually Rose Graham from our previous series with all of her skills and powers. And she's turned up with a fucking... What is that? A, a heavy machine gun? Oh, hello. So it is Rose from the previous series. But now she's known by her secret code name, Regabe. Because she, she went inside the Empire... Definitely not to do with how I had to add her into the save game. Definitely not at all. We'll rename her. She does not have to hide who she is anymore. Rose Graham. And she, that is an exact... That is Rose from the previous save game. I, I, if anybody's interested at the end of the episode, I'll show you how to transfer characters between save games. But she is back. She's found out the truth about the Empire and how it corrupted her good friends, uh, Omega and Penguin Steamer and Rib Diddle, or whatever their names were, in the previous series. Now... We break the Empire, a loyalty squad. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. They are well more armed than us, aren't they? Holy shit. Rose, at least she's got 11.29 shooting from last series. So, fingers crossed, that'll be enough here. We've got the cover. We've got the embrasures. We could send in the animals. These things have got to be pretty resistant to bullets, right? They're... I mean, they are just... They are just slime. We could send in the elephant. Let's see how it goes. Let's just stand here and wait. Come on then, loyalty squad. On the plus side, if we survive it, that's a lot of upgrades right there. Um, we could strip their armor, eventually wash it with the hygiene mod. We can take their weaponry, which is very, very powerful compared to what we've got right now. <gasps> the elephant self-tamed. Oh my god, but they're shooting it. Hopefully they'll shoot the other, other elephants, maybe? Elephant too. Can I get you to... They're going to kill that elephant, aren't they? You fucks. Now what an awful thing to do. Run, little elephant. You can do it. That's it. Lead him straight to our base with a blood trail. Appreciate that one. Okay, come on then. Oh, we've got some friends turning up. I don't know if they'll shoot the Empire, though, because as we saw, no one's at war with anyone besides the always hostile factions, the, the Savage Tribe, the Goblins, the everything else. Okay. Um, let's get Stevenson to very, very quickly tend to that elephant. Is it a male elephant? A uh, female elephant? What was ours? Female. Ah, shit. We've got two female elephants. That's a shame, but it's not a big deal, I will admit. Okay. Get her tended. And then Stevenson, get ready to haul ass back. I'm a bit scared about that Feralus getting so close, but that's okay. It's just a friend. It's just a friend. Right, there we are. But now it's seven hours. You will live, little elephant. This is what I spent all of that silver on in hindsight. You know what? You don't deserve You don't, don't deserve to use all my medical care up. Here we go. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's see how it goes. All right, team. We've got the cover. They might have the higher firepower, the better weaponry, the more accurate shooters... But we have the cover. And that's what matters here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot. Keep focusing. Focus fire on that one. Focus fire on that one. Never never stop focus firing on that one. Okay, come on. Kill them one at a time. Oh, one's down. One's down. One's down. Good shit. Kill that one. Uh, Stevenson, change position. It's probably a dangerous play, I will admit, because now we've got them all bundled together like that. Um, everyone focus fire on that one, then. That one's too far behind cover. Come on, take him down. Take him down. Rose, this is all down to you, young Rose. They've got death acidifiers as well. 
So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to grab their gear or their weapons unless we knock them down, which is very unlikely. Um, come on, come on. This is basically all down to Rose single-handedly, I won't lie. Oh, we got it. Okay, shoot that one too. We have actually got a weapon and some gear here. Take him down, take him down. We've got running gun, which is going to work against us here. We got some really good, we got some good weapons. Can we strip them? We can strip them. Uh, we might want to capture them, so just bear that in mind. What's the chance of them? Four hours, ten hours. What are our people looking like? Seventeen hours, eighteen hours. We've got to tend to our own people first. We've only got one good doctor. Um, oh, actually, we've got Rose now. She was the backup medic. Do you remember when Omega became a... Oh, when Omega became royalty, she stopped tending people, so we had to let Rose do it. Maybe that's why Rose hates the Empire so much. Conceited. Deceitful people. Okay, um... That is pretty good. I'm okay with that. Let's get them stripped. Let's steal their gear. Steal their weapons. And send a message to your goddamn empire. We don't need your help. Be gone. Probably shouldn't stand in the acid, to be honest. Rose, if you will do the honors. Uh, cannot finish off. Well, kick him to death then. There we are. Okay, we got some really good gear upgrades from that, so I really, really can't complain. Um, battle rifles, battle rifles. Upset, grab yourself a battle rifle, my friend. Delta, uh, to be honest, Stevenson's weapon could do with a with an upgrade instead. Shame that the other one was affected by the acidifier and not knocked down, but besides that, I'm pretty happy with how things went. So now, we're more to the Empire, we have Rose, and more importantly, she knows the location of where the hidden stuff is, right? Um, how do we, how do we pursue that? How do we continue on with that quest? Uh, the Deserter, um, expires in 60 days. Okay, um... Uh, you only accept you wish to fight against the Empire and develop your sidecasters in secret without getting royal titles. You will have one year to attack the outpost before it's moved. Where is it? Where is this outpost? Oh, it's there. Oh, okay. Um, there's one enemy, but they, we've got 60 days to get there. How long would it take via caravan uh, to... We have giddy up, don't we? Oh, maybe I'll remove the giddy up mods. That's okay. Um, I'm not going to send everyone. Obviously, I'm not even going to send a caravan right now. So it would take around two days to get there. So we need roughly four days of food. We'll probably send two people as well to ensure that's a success. Wow. And we've obviously got the spare bedroom as well for Rose. That actually worked out kind of well. Okay. That was... um, I was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and stop everyone being a doctor then besides Rose. Not much point when we're running this long medicine to have randomers tending to one another rather than having... Rose do it instead, because she's obviously got much bigger success chance, and she do it a lot quicker as well. We need lights in these rooms. How long until the batteries are done? Oh, what an incredible amount of progress. And the final little bit of tending to do here is with Delta. Nice. So we've got a lot of good gear. Upsa can wear clothes rather than just sexy thermal wrapping for a change. Delta can wear some non-tainted gear if we feel it's necessary for, uh, for to sacrifice... The bonuses given to us by that infused gear to swap it out for some other stuff. But we might have some. Let's check the infusement on that thing that we dropped there. Um, so this one has energizing steam tech. What the hell is even that? Energizing steam tech gives plus five hit points, 130%. Oh, so it's not actually as good as it sounds. It sounds really impressive. It really isn't. Um, we've got the, the flat pants. We've got flat vests. We've got flat jackets. We've got the whole lot. And that one's got um, dense cloth tank top. Um, it kind of defeats the point of a tank top, really. Gives armor, sharp, blunt, and... Bonus two temperatures. Very cool. Wow, we actually got some okay gear out of that then. Oh, the upgrades. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Um, so what have you got? What are you lacking specifically? So we've got the corset of diligence, which is the... Or just gives 4% bonus work speed. It's not worth wearing that over... So if we go ahead and put these things on, I think she can keep the rest of it. So we'll keep the um, ruffle shirt of infinity on, but we'll get rid of everything else. So I'll equip everything here besides the... Uh, tank top and hopefully that'll be enough and then we'll get these corpses out of here too thank you stevenson um Delta, can i get you to do that like right now i might just wake her up i want i want to get these clothes sorted out oh we got some more scarves don't tell me about the bloody scarves with those damn robots you know flashbacks already so that gets rid of the corset which is good um because that was the one that only gave like i said the four percent four percent work speed for oh right we want the lab coat okay fair enough um four percent work speed for I mean, minus five opinion or whatever taint it is, is, is just not worth it, is it? So there goes the tribal kill. And then finally, the mammoth wool scarf. Perfect. Okay. So we've got a spare flat jacket too. Why don't we give that to... Rose has got one. Ups has got one. Stevenson, what are you wearing? Um, flat vest, but no flat jacket. Fine. Look at that. Some really, really good gear for everyone then. Oh, Synthra Duster of Discovery gives, <laughs> gives uh, research speed as well. 
Okay, interesting. Obviously, if we wanted to train someone in researching, that's fine. And then we've got thick camel hide thermal wrapping. Wow, you make it sound more and more appealing with every second game. Let's, so let's make sure everyone's also got one of these hatchets equipped, because those are giving us some really great bonuses in regards to work speed. And given that Rose isn't going to be doctoring all the time, we'll get her working on the farms. I might even want to adjust this somewhat so that Delta and Upsa... Their priorities to farming a second will just have these two guys because they're going to be spending almost all day on that. Delta, I would much rather have you researching, my friend. So what the hell are you doing that's not that? Uh, go research. There we are. Okay. Give us more opportunities to grow the crops that we need. Give us more opportunities to finish the great uh, cloth fields, but also allows us to get some batteries too. This has been some really, really great progress today. More importantly, we welcome back the final survivor of last series, Rose for her vengeance. So we'll leave that one here for today. I think that's a perfectly good place to end it. We want to... Don't let me, for the love of God, comment section, don't let me forget to go and hit that outpost the second we can because that would really, really suck if we missed out on that. Let's go ahead and do a hard save here as well just to be sure that this is uh, this is all good and fine. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. This has been uh, a really great day for colony progress. Animals, absolutely doing us in. The biggest threat that we've had this entire one is animals. Bear in mind, we are still playing on Randy Merciless, too. I actually didn't realize that until I checked the difficulty um, when I was booting the game up that we have Merciless disabled. I thought we were only playing on Savage, so that's fun. That's really great. Big thank you goes out to Chris, Rodin, Derek, Alchemia, Slippy Nips, Facundo Vasquez, Scott, Tom Terror 18, Gwen S, Peyton Denisar, Lucas, Nostrus, Vacuous Backers, Harik, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Loves on Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support and making the channel possible, especially during the days of everyone being at home watching YouTube so nobody wants to sell any ads to us. Thank you as well to Shlomo, Gray, Blood for the Blood God, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Alex Bogard, William H, Nikki Sticks, Wesley C, Jackson P, Wilson Atef, Sam Kears, Bad Burrito 316, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Donald, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for also assisting keeping this channel alive. See you all tomorrow for future RimWorld enjoyment and such things. I need to work on a better outro. That's really bad.